mystic the Baal Shem Tov taught, from every human being there rises a light that reaches straight to heaven. And when two souls are destined to find one another, their two streams of light flow together, and a single brighter light goes forth from their united being. May your united light illumine the lives of all who know and love you, and may your love and your light grow ever stronger through the years ahead. What people usually notice about Sarah when she walks into a room is her outgoing personality, vibrant smile, and contagious, often tear-filled laugh that always seems to fill the air. What you'll learn about Sarah once you get to know her, though, is that once you're enveloped into her life, she's the most loyal friend you could ever wish for. She will stand by you and support you to the ends of the earth without a second thought. Paul, I could not have wished for a more outrageous, caring, loyal, and supportive person to be marrying my best friend. I will end this by saying that 10 years ago, while Paul was lunging around the room in front of me in a two-piece women's sailor costume, if you had told me today I would be standing up in front of you giving this speech, I would have said you'd taken a few too many sips of the jungle juice. But here we are, and I couldn't be happier than I am. My life has been made brighter by having the two of you in it, especially together. Yeah. Oh, I know, that was so we got cool. the union colors! Oh. Oh. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> These are so fun. Now I'm a bit of a slow learner, but the longer I've known Paul, the more and more respect I have for him. His love for life that continuously shines through whatever the situation will always put a smile on your face. His willingness and ability to take on life's toughest challenges, to say nothing of living with his fiance's parents for an entire year, despite being allergic to cats, that's a great test, by the way. I, I take it he passed. He passed? Okay, great. His unyielding values, which you can always rely on to help guide you two through life's. And lastly, his friendship. You two are each other's best friends, and you will always be there for you. Gorgeous. Yeah. Oh my god, this Everything. is like about a girl. Oh. Where do you want to eat? I'm fine, wherever. Okay, how about that burger place? No, not there. What about the pizza place? No, somewhere else. <laughs> Can you believe this day is finally here? It feels like I proposed to you just yesterday. Thank you so much for making this wedding happen. I could not have done this without you. I am so excited for today and for getting married to you. Also, our honeymoon is going to be amazing. I can't wait to travel to Spain and Portugal with you. I love you, your husband, Paul. Oh, oh like so slipsy. <laughs> yeah, I was. Put it past him. Yeah, I thought I liked it on the hanger, and in the second. There are a lot of Can I look at me quickly? Oh. <laughs> Woo! Oh my Look at those fly. Oh, that's definitely her. Can I turn around now? Oh, you look beautiful, Look at you. I have a lot of leaves. You look gorgeous. Thanks.
are outwardly rather different, an almost unlikely pair in some ways, yet you have this wonderful yin and yang of humor, creativity, and energy, and drive, perseverance, and steady accomplishment. You can guess which one is which. <laughs> You've each spoken of the gifts that you bring to one another, caring and acceptance, consideration and support, the way that you inspire each other to grow and to be your very best selves. Sarah, you are my best friend. I promise to love you, respect you, and above all else, forgive you when you're hangry. <laughs> I promise I'll never stop trying to make you laugh, even when it's five in the morning and you're pretending to still be asleep. You've been my partner in crime, mentor, and playmate. But most importantly, you are the love of my life. And I cannot wait for the lifetime adventures we have ahead of us. Paul. If you had told me in October of 2006 that 10 years later I would be standing here marrying Union's own Adam Sandler, I would have laughed and laughed. If you had told me this on the day we graduated college, I probably would have laughed even harder. Yet I'm here today because of the impression that you left on me since day one. Unlike most relationships, you were my friend first and my boyfriend second. I loved you long before I ever knew. I really loved you. Uh, first of all, I want to thank all of you uh, for coming and celebrating Sarah and Paul's wedding. It's already a really fun time. And uh, especially Margie and Ira Gerver and their family and all of you who made the trek up here from New Jersey and all of you who came a little shorter distance. We're really extremely happy to have you here. And I hope they continue to take walks together uh, throughout their life and seek out new paths together <clears throat> and new adventures and above all else, enjoy the journey.
conclude our ceremony with a joyous ritual, the traditional breaking of the glass. The breaking of the glass, like the commitment that you make today, is irrevocable, good lawyer word, and permanent. The fragility of the glass suggests the frailty of human relationships. The glass is broken to protect this marriage with the implied prayer, may your bond of marriage be as difficult to break as it would be to reassemble the pieces of this glass. As Paul breaks the glass, I'll invite everyone to shout Mazel Tov, which means congratulations and good luck. We'll have one practice run. One, two, three. Mazel Tov. That was excellent. <laughs>